All right, guys. So far, this EuroGBP long is panning out nicely, but let's see how it delivers. Um, uh, what I like about this one is the immediate feedback as soon as we hit the key level. Now, my entry was based from this low to this high. I wanted to know where 50% was, and it was right here. And then I elected to use the discount PDA just below it. In this case, I went for the closure of the BC because there was a BPR in here, small, but it was there. The market respected with the bodies beautifully, but it wicked into this bullish order block, which is the last down candle before they move higher and with energy. And I think that's important. It doesn't always have to be like that, but when it moves with energy, it tends to be more sensitive. And this range in here that I've highlighted, it's the daily CB, of course, on the daily chart. And you can see how we respected the bottom end of it. So my stop can be down here because I'm protected by the narrative, first of all, because it doesn't make much sense to me to see price go below this level, unless I'm completely wrong on the trade idea. I have then the BC, the fact that we are in a discount, the bullish order block that colored just outside this range delimiter. So we went outside and we immediately reclaimed it. This to me is suggesting more as if this was a deep discount. We did business there as if I was a market maker and trying to do that game. And then we moved away quickly further confirming that this is where they potentially accumulated and this right here i'm aiming for the daily cb closure so my drone liquidity is on the daily my setup is based on the intraday volatility and patterns that i can find just to maximize and justify a place for my stop loss and of course i'm always trying to have more than one r in this case if, if this trade right here gave the potential for 7R, I wouldn't be closing at 2 or 2.2 in this case. Okay, so I don't, I don't personally believe in fixed uh, risk to reward because the market doesn't know, but I know people who have found success with it. So, who am I to judge? And this trade was barely viable because I never like to have a stop loss of less than 5 pips, and this trade was 6.3 pips. So 63 pip pads but i'll keep you updated when it delivers so this video doesn't become too long and now we can see how after the m15 bullish order block the cb near the fair value gap the bc on the m15 we went higher with energy and speed and with one single candle we erased this down move okay so again as the same concept in here or where we dropped and immediately reclaimed it with speed the same thing is happening right now on a different kind of context but still on the bullish side where we dropped quickly two candles and in my opinion be being a buyer when the market is dropping like this it's better then when the market is just going slowly, slowly, and slowly, and slowly, because I don't usually see that as being extremely bullish. I much prefer to see a, a quick move into my level and then quickly moves away, because I want to be entering on the retracement that should be classified, quote unquote, here as the manipulation. So the market will immediately go back in my direction again, since the drone liquidity should be to seek higher prices and now this m5 bc created after we hit a key level should be respected and these two down candles can now become a bullish order block and you can see it's being respected in here but the body goes through because of the fair value gap but we're not looking to come back lower again i don't want to see this one being filled because again, same logic, accumulation, manipulation, now it's about the distribution. And while it looks extremely small in here, going into the M1, 
it's a little bit more visible of how we spent some time in here. We dropped into the discount and now we are distributing. In here, we can also analyze how we went into consequent encroachment of the M1 BC. So we hit that perfect algo delivery and now it's seeking higher prices and all the PDAs in here are being respected. So volume imbalance with two consecutive down candles respected, down candle respected here, down candle with immediate rebalance right here respected. I don't do much stay breathing on the M1 because I don't think it's as consistent as the others. And then it just creates more of a stressful situation because the market, while I don't want to see price breach these two down candles and go again inside of the value gap, it can still happen and my trade wouldn't be invalidated. And the only thing I'm thinking right now is since we had a beautiful reaction from here, I can really decrease my stop. So the low on this candle is at 74. I'll just move it to 70 right here. And see, I'm not placing it at break even. I'm placing it where the price action suggests that price shouldn't be going anymore. And if you want to learn more about this, this is the trade management by Tom Dante. So you can find him on Twitter. I don't want to say he's one of my mentors, but surely I've learned a few stuff from him and I think it's super legit. So if you should ever find issues studying with ICT or with me, or any other mentor, if you go the Tom Dante route, I think you will find some potential good level of success. Um, that's the small rant being done. I'll update you when something happens. Quick update as of don't when I edit this video. Um, so far, we just poked, uh, your EGBP poked its head above the high right here. And I'd like to see a quick expansion. I don't want to see being slow in here. Otherwise, it's not great in terms of trade management and trade development. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. As you can see, the target, the closure right here, it's at 40. And I'm trying to exit a little bit ahead of the level because you never know. Each feed is a little bit different on Forex. So maybe aiming for that level of precision will just leave me empty handed. Um, what I see on the other assets, namely Euro USD and GBP USD, I can see how Euro is still reacting very nicely and it might potentially go and feel it the um, M15 bearish order block at 815. While I can see that GBP USD is stuck, and that's good because Euro USD going higher. GBP USD being stuck means Euro GBP going higher. And that's what we need for this trade to pan out, no? All right, new M15 close. This is clearly positive. We closed very strongly. And now it's uh, just testing the, the opening of these two down candles. And I'd like to see price immediately go for the target without wasting any time. Notice how on this time frame we have nothing to rebalance so the next logical level that we should be seeking to potentially bounce from is the open right here which you can also think as I move like this this is gonna be a mitigation block not that I use mitigation blocks but if it's present in the chart we will consider it and let's see how it goes nothing stopping this market from going into the immediate rebalance and then immediate and then go. So at this point, my, my stop can still remain in here. I will manage it if it starts moving weird. Um, we have no news impact, so I'm not overly worried and I'll just wait for the delivery. We went for the opening of these two consecutive down candles and now we're finding higher prices. At the same time, I'm monitoring EuroGBP on another data feed because, as we know, it's uh, it's possible that one hits it, the other one doesn't. And all right, okay. 
Okay. Now it doesn't make any sense for me to have my stop down here. So I'm gonna place it just below here. And for some it might look like, oh, you're strangling the trade. Yeah, but at this time I was risking, I was potentially gonna make one extra pip instead of, and risking all of this, right? Because risk to reward is dynamic. So I was trying to make one pip to risk and risking 15. So clearly negative. And if it delivers, nice. If it doesn't, then my stop will do its job and it's not gonna be a fat R. It's almost there. Actually, I'll take something off here because it's so close to it, doesn't make much of a difference. Taken now, because we are approaching the 2R and I'm very content with the result like this. And what if the market fails to hit it? At this point, the difference is so minuscule, it doesn't make, it's not important. 30. Also look at YAM5, if it loads. Thirty-two. Closure is at forty. I'm just being a little bit of a dick for a tick here, but since I took majority off already, I'm fine with allowing the market to target the ETP. 34, voila, and that's it. So let me show the executions. And here they are. As you can see, the entry was here. Oh, it wasn't the lowest low, who cares? I said I wanted to enter here, that's what happened. I waited for the closure and perfect. I did manage my stop well, and this is what good trading is to me. Might not be for you, but that's what I do. See, we completely filled it, but it doesn't mean I want to be exiting up there. Because on a larger scale, yes, you I would have made more, one extra pip or half a pip. But on a larger scale, you will lose some trades because it doesn't fully fill it. Maybe because there is something that you are missing on the other time frames. I'm much safer collapsing like one to two pips ahead of the level and uh, save up some mental capital so here's the video hope you enjoyed it i don't know where i will be posting it but we'll see see ya bye bye